Hello and welcome to Heretic Day 40k and I'm Heretic Day. Welcome to the channel. Uh, different video today. It's not a match play game, although there's a table here. Um, this is a box. A box? It's been opened. Oh, oh, oh. It's an unboxing video. Hang on, wait. When you say it was open, did you did you open it or what happened? Was, yeah, it, see, was it a problem in the post or did someone try and get out of the box? Did it get out of the box? There was, there was a jack in the box. No, oh. um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, what this is, it's Terrain from Snot Goblin Gaming. They were very nice to send me some. And uh, I'm going to have a look and see what it's like. It looks like a box. It is a box. <laughs> it definitely looks like a box. So, so this is the like full table terrain set thing. So Stuff! I've got one bag that says half table set. And I've got another bag <laughs> which says half table set. So that's a whole table set in my maths. That looks like it must be the whole box. No. <gasps> More stuff! There's more. More? So, let's see what we've got. Now where'd you say you get this from again? Snot Goblin Gaming. This it's Not Goblin or Snot Goblin? Snot Goblin. Snot Goblin. Snot Goblin. That's a great name, isn't it? It's brilliant. <laughs> it's brilliant. It rolls off the tongue so wonderfully. Snot Goblin. <laughs> um, it's um, like a kid at Christmas, everybody. That's fallen off. Um, so, essentially, it's loads of little bits, and you put it together like Lego, or Meccano, or Duplo, or what else? Connects. Connects. Or, or Connects. Do you remember Connects? Wasn't Connects fun? You were like the little motorised cogs and things Is you could do. Is that still a thing anymore? I mean, it probably died of us as we aged, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so there's loads of little bits. That's like a floor bit or something. Um, and I've got to figure out how it goes together. Um, so, how about... We hit pause, I build some, and we'll see what we got. Sounds good. Right, so a few moments later, or about <laughs> ten minutes or so. Ten minutes um, later. Andy, my glorious assistant, who's behind the camera, and I have put together some ruins. So Andy's done this nice little corner one here and another one, and I've put this bigger one together. Essentially, it's just like Lego. Um, it really is. It's very simple. It's got all the bits for everything. You can have small little broken bits of wall. You can have bigger bits of wall. You can have windows. There's a window there. There we go. Corner bits, you can put floors, you can do the ruin however you want to do it. It really is absolutely yeah. fully customizable to how you want to make it. Fully customizable, fully modular, you can take it apart very quickly, you can build it very quickly, or you know, to build an entire set of ruins for a table, probably take you what, 15 minutes? 15, 15 if, if, if that, yeah. But, yeah. Two of you, probably less. Yeah, a lot less. You know, it's very simple, very straightforward. You've got bits in abundance. Um, oh yeah. We've done these three bits of ruins out of one box. Not one box, one bag. One, one bag. And we've still got these oh, bits and all this all those bits. Over. So <laughs> e e e that box there easily contained probably a whole a whole table's worth, I should think. Well yeah, it was two half table sets and, yeah. and a little ruin set. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So that, that makes a whole table and a bit. A um, table and a bit. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll very quickly demonstrate how it works. So you get your floor bits. So here we've got two corner bits, but you can have straight bits as well, whatever. It just slots together like so. There are bits for the walls. So there's corner bits. There's not corner bits. <laughs> not corner bits. Not corner bits, you know, straight, straight bits, you know. And you put them together like that. And if there are any gaps, you've got these little girders that just slot in the middle like that. Look. It's easy as one, one, two, um, three. Two, that's it, two, three. Yes, yeah. I, I know my what, what is it? A B C. That's the one. Um, and, and then you know you, you can you can put these on the top if you want to you know put a bit of wall at the top or if you want to put another floor on. Which way does that go in? That way. That way. That way. Now yeah. you have to complicate it now. I'm, I'm overcomplicating it now. <laughs> That's a corner. I need a corner bit. There we go. Corner bit. Uh, <laughs> Do you know, you did the whole build up making one mistake and then you go on camera and you're like, this bit, no, that, that bit. bit. <laughs> but yeah, so, so you, can, you can either put those little bits on and then put like a wall on it, if, if, if you only want it to be a one floor ruin. Or if you want to make it a second floor, you just put another floor piece in and go again. You can have seven floors if you really wanted to. I mean, you'll probably knock over things You could make a castle. You could make a castle and knock it over while you're playing because it'd be that high. Although it's quite sturdy, to be fair. It is really sturdy. It's great material, and you know what I like is the detail on this as well. It, it's, 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 it's very GW. It's very, very you know, game workshoppy with the uh, what's it called, the gothic ruin kind it's, of feel. It's very gothic. -y. It's sort of ruined. There's little bits of detail, cracked bits of floor. There's like little skulls and things on the walls. Yeah, it'd be very good for a quick undercoat and a dry brush, and it'll look fantastic. I say, and um, painting it looks like it'll be really easy as well. Like a lot of it, obviously. So it's a bit overwhelming, yeah. maybe with the amount you get. But then if you're gonna get Scenery and get a box of it. 
that's what you take on, is, you know, the the, yeah. the the fun of painting it. And the fun of painting it? Yeah, uh, and it looks uh, like uh, a lot of fun. I've made half a box in about two minutes. Less than, um, <laughs> well, half a box, but not, not the top half, because you couldn't work that out. <laughs> or, 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 or I could do the same here. Anyway, you could, you could make a small house. Like a tower. Yeah, uh, make a tower room. Yeah, I, could, I, could, I could then go around the back like this, there. He says. Uh, and I could then make it into a box. Let's do that. You do a box. Well, sure, start making that. I'll come over here and see if here's the one we made earlier. That's again, the one Andy made. This is the one I made earlier on. It, again, really nice material. Lovely durable. You get your models on there. They're not going to fall off. It's really good. Same as here. You can keep going up and up. I just did another level to demonstrate, but you can just keep tagging, 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 tagging. So the possibilities are endless. And talking about endless, How's um? <laughs> How's my building going? <laughs> building going. Stop, it's still <laughs> um, yes, it's it. I, I can make a little box with windows on either side. Um, there's a little tiny a hole little, in the a little keep. Uh, but yeah, you can, you can make like a little tower and stuff. It would be quite cool. I think you could sit here for about an hour, build everything up, and make anything you want. I think it'd be. Um, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah, it's cool. Really good. So yeah, so it's not gobbling gaming. gaming. The, the logo looks a bit like this. But a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine me, but green. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll put a link below, uh, and, and they've actually given a, like an affiliate link, so I'll put that link below. So if you click that link, if you want to buy some terrain, I don't think it's too expensive. I think it's reasonably priced for what you get. Um, some terrain is quite expensive, but this, this one's all right. Obviously, you've got to paint it yourself, but you don't, you don't have to. I mean, you can play a bit like that. To say you can play this as it comes. It it looks great, like a building. It is what it is, but. Like I say, a bit of dry brushing. I think you could probably spend an hour go if you if you were to build it all up, a whole box, spend an hour doing it, and then spend what two or three hours giving everything a nice little dry brush, bit well, of detail here and there. Just spray paint it all black or something. Uh, yeah. Just get the biggest paintbrush you can find. Even one for painting a wall if you really want to, because I mean you're painting walls. <laughs> <laughs> Dip it in a pot of Dulux or whatever. <laughs> It doesn't really matter. It's that's that's what I do in my it. death card. I just get green and go dab, dab, yeah, dab. Just, that's it. You'd only want a little bit of paint on the brush, though, because you're dry brushing. So get all the excess off. Don't just slob it in paint like your death card. Uh, and then you just gently go over the top of it and it'll bring out all the, the, um, the details and stuff. It'll be great. So how long is it delivering this? Is it a, is it a quick delivery time? Uh, I mean, this was sent across the pond and it got here on, like under a week. So that's international shipping in, in, in less than seven days. Yes. Which is probably quicker than most people in this country would send first class, second class. Yeah, I mean you work for the Royal Mail. So I do, but yeah. I work for Royal Mail, so I can I can say it's only worked for Royal Mail. That is really quick international shipping, and like I say, it doesn't cost an arm and a leg. Which do you know if shipping's free, or do we not know that? Uh, I don't. I, know. I should imagine there'll be a shipping cost, but I shouldn't imagine it's going to break your legs. No, um, I mean, compared to the cost of the train, it's not going to be much extra. No, you know, it's not like GW shipping where you literally have to pay an arm and a leg. For mm. miniatures and then the overall and leg for postage. Um, yeah. Do they do they do anything else? Do you know other than than terrain? Do they do any other types of scenery? Do they do paints? Do they do anything else? I think it's mostly just terrain. Although mostly if terrain. someone has a look and wants to correct me, feel free and comment below. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I had a quick look at the website and it was mostly terrain. I was just like, that looks really cool. Nice. I'll have, nice. A, I'll have some of those and make it look really nice. And but, you know, um, yeah. and if, if they only do terrain and it looks like this, then why do anything else? Because it's fantastic. It's very good, yes. Um, so yeah, feel free to check them out. It will help them out and help the channel out. And um, if you like this video, smash the like button. And um, although it's not the end of the video yet, because I'm actually going to paint this and then continue this video once it's painted and show some of it painted. So oh. on that note, a few moments later. Right, we're back and it is literally a few moments later. I'm not that quick a painter because we suddenly <laughs> discovered something else or realised something else. This is Death Guard Andy, everybody. Hey. Um, <laughs> he, so you yeah. can take these things, these things up. These are just little bits you can put on and off just to, just to when you're building them. You'll, you'll find them when you're building them. Cool little things. And what you can do here is you can get this ruin and this ruin that we brought separately. And you just come along like that. It's not really going to give it now, is it? You, yeah. did it? you did it a second there ago. There we go. Just like that. And also, you can come along to here, take this one off. And then, Dave... Yeah. You can come along to here, and to here. I'll get that angle so you can get a better angle on it. Get a better camera angle. Got, got, I've, got, I've got it in the video. I've got a better <laughs> camera angle. Um, Push down like that. Oh, you have to take that bit off there as well. You didn't take the end bit off of there. Oh, I'm sorry. There we go. And that'll have to go over that bit. So you have to take that one out, out the way as well. 
So that one there. That and then that there. bit needs to go at the top. A bit of jiggery pokery. But it's really easy. And a bit of wriggling around. A bit like a nurgling. Um, <laughs> I like nurglings. You do at the moment, yeah. I do, yes. And then that one into there. It's so quick to do. Now, now we've got one massive. Trim! It looks it's, pretty cool. It's durable. It's, it's, it's yeah. really, really durable. I say that, and I push that bit out with my, with yeah, my but... sheer strength. Yeah, he doesn't know his own strength stuff, guys. Or maybe it's corroded with your, with your <laughs> contagions. Um, you can just keep going with this. I mean, go ahead and start start building the clock tower and put the clock tower. You could you could make you could make cool things with this. Yes, well, I, I plan to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's really cool. Um, so Andy just wanted to show everyone that because he had a brainstorm. He's like, "Hang on, we can put he these together." He did a thing. He put them together. It's fantastic. Um, yeah. So, so now I'll paint these, and then we'll come back a few weeks later, oh, which to you will be a few moments later. You'll be seeing that guy in two seconds later. Okay, and here we are, a few moments later, or a, a week or so. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Anyway, I've now finished making all the terrain that came in the box. As you can see, it does actually quite comfortably fill a table. I've even made two bits quite high, so you could technically break them up and have even more smaller ruins. But yeah, so, so you can you can get quite a lot of terrain out of a full table set. Um, and I was looking on the site. It's pretty much site. KTC, isn't it? Uh, I've set it up like that, yes. Um, so you could, you could actually do a full legal match play Torment, UK, torment terrain, terrain yeah. format. Yeah, you can. Yeah. That's really good. It is good. Really good. Uh, and in terms of value, I was looking on the page. There will be a link below, but I think it's $220 unpainted. It's an extra $60 if you want it painted, but yeah. Um, which comes to about £160 in, if you're in the so, UK. What it is in Australian dollars, don't know. Prob yen, probably the opposite, uh, right? Because it's upside down. Yeah. Um, but I was sort of doing a quick comparison to sort of the price of this compared to other alternatives and comparing this to a full table set that I had um, from elsewhere, the, the grey ruins there, it, it's about £80 cheaper. Obviously, it's, and, it, it doesn't come painted, but £80 cheaper and it's customisable. You can make what you like. And not only that, if you drop this... You can put it together again. If you drop that, it shatters. It shatters. And it's probably gone. breaks your foot at the same time. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so it, it's good value for money. It, that, that's what it is. What I've done with it, I basically got all the bits individually, laid them all out and sprayed them all and then put it together afterwards. That's what you do it. Uh, well, I don't know, because it, cause it's a bit more of a tight fit then, trying to slot it in. So uh, I don't know whether it would be better to put it together and then spray it. I don't know, but that's how I did it. Um, and, and this is how it looks painted. Um, so it's, as you can see, there is quite a lot of detail there if you really want to go to town with it. Yeah. Um, that's what I've got to so far on things. So exactly. Here's what I prepared earlier. Exactly. <laughs> um, <laughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm now going to go away, paint all this, and probably do a next continuation of this video probably a few weeks later. And then we'll, so we'll see what I've got. <laughs> well, I did say I'd use a really big brush and a pot of Dulux, so it might not take very long at all. <laughs> Size. But I could do yeah, paint roller, yeah. Could. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, so that, that's it, based and put together. And then the next step, you'll see in a few seconds. But it will do it in a few weeks. And here I am, a couple of weeks later. But for the viewers, a few seconds. It's painted. I've painted it all. Um, yeah, um, I haven't done it super detailed, but. What I've done essentially is I've found a base colour, painted them in a the base colour, so this one was grey, um, and then I've gone over it with a wash basically to sort of pick out some of the detail. Um, I might go back over it at some point and pick out all the little skulls and the things on the doors and things, but very quickly you can put a base coat on, put a wash on them, and it doesn't look too bad for a bit of terrain that you're going to be seeing that far away. Um, so, you know, even with a quick base coat and a wash, it picks out a lot of detail without you having to spend hours painting it. Um, you can obviously make it look as professional as you like. But, yeah, for, for like a very quick, a quick job, it still looks half decent, I think. So, um, yeah, it's, it's very good, very quick and easy to paint if you want to just get it battle ready. Um, but if you really want to, you know, take your time on it and make it look fancy, you can do. So, yeah, there we go. It looks nice. It's lovely. I'd highly recommend it. Um, 
thanks for watching this video and you know if you want to support the channel and sports not goblin gaming um there'll be links below where you can get the terrain um and yeah i don't know what else to say it's really good check it out if you're looking for terrain and uh yeah thanks for watching and uh, i'll see you in the next one